Hello. In this video, we're going to be walking through the latest version of HP Aruba Networking Central. This new version of Central is being released as a public preview, which will allow you to view and manage your devices in a new and improved way. You can get access to this latest version by clicking the new Central toggle in the top right hand corner. Once you've clicked that toggle, you'll be presented with a knock overview page. It'll have sites, insights, alerts, device inventory, and a few other tiles as well. For the purpose of this walkthrough, we're going to be focused on our Dallas site on the left-hand side here. Once you click a site, it'll become what we call a solar system, planets being network, client, application, security, and alerts. In the center of this page, you'll see the overall site health, usage, and events. And back on the left-hand side in that solar system, you'll see this icon here. This icon is your AI insights. This will recommend you optimizations for this particular site. On screen, you'll see that it's recommending I upgrade my access points to the proper firmware level. You'll also see how I can potentially save power from my access points and how I can improve my client wireless connectivity and experience. For the purpose of this walkthrough, we're not going to go through all of the AI insights. We're going to take a look at some other cool features that are within the new version of Central. On the left-hand side, if I was to click my networking planet, you'll see that I get a list of all the devices at this site. I can do the same thing for my clients. Let's take a look at a more interesting way to view my clients and network devices through the topology view instead. On the right hand side, you'll see the topology icon. Once I click that, you'll see this topology view is different from your traditional topology view. This is what we call the sunburst. If you hover over a device, any device that's bold green is directly connected. In this example, my access switch is displaying that all these APs are connected to it directly and my aggregation switch is directly connected as well. If I hover over my AP, you'll notice that my access switch is the only thing that gets bold. And if I was to do this for my aggregation switch, you'll see that both my access switches are bold and then my core switch is also bold as well. On the right hand side, you'll see layers. You can change these layers to display your network. This will display everywhere VLAN 1 exists. I can change this to be VLAN 101, for example, and it'll show me everywhere VLAN 101 exists by highlighting it in blue. And I can do this for my VNIs or WLANs if I want as well. But we're going to take it back to the device view. Notice when I went back to the device view on the left hand side, it still shows me the total number of clients associated with this site, and it shows me the number of alerts. I can also get a more detailed view of clients and alerts by clicking on a device. So in this case, if I was to click my switch, you'll see that I have one client and I have zero alerts on this switch. I can click go to device to drill down even further. And now that I'm here, you'll see that the switch becomes the center of the sunburst and the APs are all directly connected to that switch. On the top right hand side, I can click the tiles and this will give me additional information regarding that switch. I'll see the connectivity and performance. I'll see properties, I'll see health, and I'll see the connectivity or the path out to the internet for my device. I'll also see events down here below. And if I want even more detail regarding what's connected to the switch, I can click on the network planet on the left-hand side here. This will show me the faceplate. I'm gonna expand that out. And the icons show that I have some APs connected and the smiley face for the UXI sensor that's connected as well. If I click the drop down on the right-hand side here, I can change this to show me VLANs. So in this case, I have VLAN 1 selected by default, and it shows me where VLAN 1 is an access VLAN on some ports. And if I select it to be 101, it'll show me where VLAN 101 is trunked for all of these ports. I can also change this to show me port usage. And I can click on a port directly to get additional details regarding that port. So I can see the usage on the left-hand side here, or I can click on the port in this list here and it'll show me the usage. If I want even more details regarding the usage in that port, I can see the total throughput at the top, and I can show additional frame details by clicking this drop down here. But I'm gonna close out of that. We can also use the space plate to drill down even further. So in this case, if I wanna see what's going on with this AP, I can just click on the name, and the AP will become the center of my solar system. And I can also see the connectivity for this AP and the health properties and connectivity and performance. I can click on the network planet to see the WLANs and interfaces associated with this AP. 
I can also click on clients to see their experience connected to this AP. Here we have a couple of clients that seem to have a high retransmission rate. So if I was to click on that client, I can drill down even further. It'll show me what SSID that client is connected to, and then its path out to the internet. And if I click the networking planet, it'll show me the device it's connected to, the connections, how many times its client has connected to this AP, and associations. If I want to see the applications that this device has been using, I can click on applications and I'll get a list of all the applications this client has been using. But we know that this client has an issue with a higher retransmission rate. So let's take a look at the time travel at the very, very top. Time travel allows us to go up to seven days in the past and show us the, the entire state of the network at that point in time. And I can do this by clicking on one of these bars. So I've clicked on one of those bars. You can see that there's some yellow, which means the client experience wasn't that great. And there's also some green. I can click on that green bar. What this is going to do is it's going to set the entire central instance to August 29th, 2024 at 4 11 PM. So if I was to click over to my AP, it's going to also display the same time. Let's just take a look at this client's experience at this point in time. It looks like the experience was good at this time, which is what we selected. And if I was to click on the AP. And I can go to that AP by clicking the planet and clicking the AP's name. You'll notice that the time at the very top stays the same. That's because we've set the entire central instance to that point in time. So we can look back and see what else was going on at that point in time when the experience was good. In this case, the experience is bad. And I think I need to go and drill down and take a look a little bit further and see what's going on with that client. I'm going to clear out that time travel and I'm going to go troubleshoot that device. I hope you enjoyed this look into New Central. New features will be consistently rolled out, so stay tuned for more updates.